I'm here in Johannesburg with David from the Four Seasons. Um, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Great sleep, great breakfast, lovely stay. Thank you. You enjoy the Four Seasons bed? <laughs> of course, of course. Um, please uh, explain why Four Seasons decided now to open this property. Oh, there are a couple of reasons. The, re uh, the reason, the main reason why Four Seasons is coming to uh, Johannesburg, um, because we think as a company, Four Seasons has now 98 hotels worldwide, and definitely South Africa was a place we need to open an hotel. But we didn't start by Game Reserve or by Cape Town, but Johannesburg. The reason why, because Johannesburg is really the good time to come. Uh, the city has so much vibe, a lot of things happening in town, and it's a very creative, especially the CBD, which is a central business district, which is just five minutes from the hotel. So here we have the largest man-made man uh, man forest in the world with 10 million trees, and after five minutes, you arrive in Mabodeng, in Bramfontein, 44 Stanley, and all this new energy in town, which is very uh, exciting, especially for guests who travel all over the world. Well, I must say, uh, the way you explained it, of course, we had some more time yesterday. It, uh, it is true that for people like me, not familiar with Johannesburg, we all have this notion this is a stopover uh, city uh, for connections. Uh, there's uh, nothing to do or there's high crime. Uh, totally untrue, huh? Things have changed in the past five, ten years. I think I work for the company for four seasons since now 13 years. Uh, of course, like all the people, when we check about Johannesburg on Google, it's not a, really a place you definitely want to go. But it's the first time that I'm in a place with so much gap between perception and reality. Of course, like all big cities, there are some issues and place not to go. Uh, but uh, the city has so much to offer. First, I would say, uh, as you say, uh, but, uh, is that Johannesburg is definitely the hub when people fly and go on vacation in this part of the world they fly to Johannesburg but very few of them they go to Johannesburg for this question of perception Four Seasons is a company that uh, a brand that people really trust so we have more and more people instead of staying at the airport they come to see us and discover the city and uh, and uh, realize that the city has much to offer. Uh, a lot of people travel from long distance, so we have a beautiful spa with nine treatment rooms. We have a chef, previously a uh, three Michelin star chef, Auberge de Lille in Alsace. Uh, and it's a, it's a nice stop before uh, to start a safari or before to fly back to US or UK uh, to enjoy uh, a full season experience. And it's, it's uh, definitely worth a three day stop there's that much to see beautiful Soweto um, safe lovely great people and you're located smack in the in the middle and for those who like to wake up as you were saying at 5 30 you can hear sometimes a lion's roar across the street at the Johannesburg Zoo exactly and catch the elephants during your breakfast which is a nice stop before your uh, your safari experience a game reserve which is very very close from here you can catch a flight after two hours and you have uh, the most uh, amazing game reserve in the region uh, and at the same time you have the urban city of Johannesburg uh, I think if you really want to understand South Africa you definitely need to stop in Johannesburg which is I call the new Berlin of Africa or kind of so of Manhattan like 20 25 years ago so this this is the next hot spot in the world yes the hip cool place to discover now in uh, this part of the world. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Thank you.